Here's a couple of drawings of some diodes that rectify AC current. The top one is a tube. At the left it's labeled plate and at the right we've got the cathode. Now, of course we have the filament to make the tube function. And the bottom one is the solid state symbol for a diode. At the left is called the anode and the right is the cathode. And in the center is an arrow showing the direction that current will flow. And it'll only flow in that direction. It cannot flow in the opposite direction. Here is another drawing of the solid state diode or rectifier. The top drawing shows how you can determine which side of the diode is the cathode. It's marked with a painted band around the diode. Here we have a drawing of a rectifier circuit using a single diode. At the left we have an AC supply and we have our diode connected to a resistor and the bottom line is our return back to our AC supply. And as the AC goes through its 360 degree cycle, which is shown above the AC supply, and then above that to the right, we can see what the diode does to that sine wave. It only allows the positive peaks to travel through it. The negative half is cut off. Now if we tried to use this in some electronic equipment like an AM radio or any radio, it would be really noisy. This would be that classic very loud hum when the filter caps have gone bad. In this drawing I've added one filter cap and also above to the right this is what it would look like on a scope. That one filter cap is filling in the gaps in between the positive peaks. Now that filter cap does look like at first it's in backwards but if we could look through that diode like this and see through the other side we would only ever see the positive peak. We would never ever see the negative peak. So the capacitor is hooked up correctly. Now looking at this drawing again it's still not uh, very quiet DC. You can see that it does have a small valley in there. So what happens is very typically another capacitor is added like in this drawing and the waveform at the bottom is pretty much 100 percent DC current now. This circuit is known as a half wave rectifier because it only uses one half of the AC signal. And the filtering part of this, the filtering circuit, is a classic Pi filter. Here is another rectifier circuit. It uses four diodes and it is known as a full wave rectifier because it uses both halves of the AC power, both the positive and negative half. 
Let's take a closer look at the configuration of those four diodes. In this drawing, I'm showing the positive half of the cycle. And if we take a look at the AC source, the negative part, current will flow through the bottom diode toward the negative and then up through the load and notice that we have a peak right there, the positive peak. Up along the top and then through the top diode and then to the positive side of the AC source. Now this cycle continues and now we are in the negative half of the cycle. And if we take a look at the negative part, which is at the top of the source now, our electrons will flow toward the right and down through the right diode over to the negative and then up through the load. And notice now we have our second peak but now it's positive. Then we continue across the top all the way over and then down through the left diode and then return to our AC source. These last steps get repeated for every cycle and we end up with twice as many peaks as in the half wave. But we still need filtering. And if we add our first filter here, you can see that it's pretty good DC, but there's still a little bit of ripple. But the distance between the peaks are less than in a half wave. So we add another filter here, and now we have pretty much pure DC. But another difference between the half wave and the full wave, in this full wave we have just about twice as much power. Here is another drawing of a full wave rectifier, this time using a vacuum tube. And We've got a filament in here as one of the connections in the power supply. Sometimes it's a cathode depending on the tube. But notice that the waveforms are the same as what we just went through, although uh, the voltage would be higher. But notice that also we only have two diodes, two plates, and we have full wave. Well, the reason for this is that transformer is center tapped. So it's like having two AC sources that are 180 degrees out of phase. Here is the positive cycle. And the tube can only conduct when the plate is positive. So the top plate in the positive cycle is the one doing the conducting. And when we get to the negative cycle, the bottom plate is positive, filling in the second half of the cycle, making this a full wave rectifier.